subway to remove chemical from bread. It's amazing. Vani Hari has done it again. Subway, one of the world's biggest bread bakers, is about to remove a chemical from its breads that raise the ire of influential health activist and food blogger, thefoodbabe.com. And she joins us right now. Now, they're responding, saying, we'll take it out, but the FDA says we're allowed to have it in. Well, I mean, Hitler said they were allowed to line Jews up and shoot them. And our government once said it was okay to have blacks as slaves pulling plows down the road. So uh, just because the FDA says that melamine can be in the milk, they execute you for that in China. And that, for me, is the big issue here. If you go back just five years ago, we could not have victories this fast. It is a collapse of the system. I go to even mainline grocery stores now, and everything advertises. We have real sugar in our ketchup. We're non-GMO, organic. Bonnie Hari joins us, uh, a.k.a. the Food Babe, to talk about this huge victory to the bottom of the hour. Because less than 48 hours after she launched her campaign, what was she on Tuesday when she launched it? She launched it that day. Was it Tuesday? It was Tuesday. Amazing. So here we are on Thursday, and they've now announced, as of last night, and USA Today came out with it today, that they're going to do this. But, but it's no big deal. Well, the key is this is banned in every other country. It's only authorized here, and there's so many other plastic emulsifiers and silicone derivatives and precursors in the McNuggets, you name it. It's all falling like a house of cards, and it shows the power of we the people to change what's happening in civilization. We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. And I am so excited. I thought it'd take a few weeks for her to have a victory on this, but she is she is so focused and, and has got such a great grassroots support base on her Facebook and Twitter and on her website and uh, you know shows like ours that 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 she was able to hammer this out there and they're running scared great job tell us about what's unfolded and what's happened well thank you so much Alex you know what was so critical you know I launched the petition right about noon on Tuesday and I, I was on this program I think within the next hour or two and it was really a fascinating to see all of your supporters and everyone coming over to join the petition and, and I can't tell you how many personal emails that I got from the InfoWars folks to, to say you know they heard me on this program they're so upset about plastic and their Subway sandwiches and that they were going to to speak out about it. So I just want to personally thank you and all of your listeners and everybody who follows InfoWars. Alex, your team and your support has been amazing. Um, it is absolutely unheard of that any company has, has responded this quick in history, not to mention get 50,000 signatures on a petition within 24 hours. People were very visibly upset about this once they found out that Subway wasn't using this chemical for everybody else across the globe, but only using it for us. Um, they were really upset about this double standard, not to mention that this chemical in bread is the same stuff in yoga mat on the bottom of your shoes. It causes cancer because when it's heated, it degrades into a carcinogenic compound that it's linked to lung problems and an asthmatic trigger. Um, people were very upset and, and there is no way for Subway to hide. And the funny thing is, is they said that they were going to do this all along. But it's really interesting because I contacted them 10 days ago on their customer service line and through email, and they didn't tell me any of this. They wouldn't even tell me anything about this ingredient back then. And they wouldn't tell me it a year ago when I released a, a video about, uh, about this substance, me even eating a yoga mat out of pure comedy and reaction and to get people thinking about what they're eating. And, and a year before that, in 2012, when I released the full investigation on Subway, how it wasn't really eating fresh. But um, if anybody thinks that they can eat this now, think again. This is not a Subway sandwich you want to be eating. First of all, all of the Subway sandwiches right now currently have this ingredient, as well as a slew of other ingredients that are plasticizers, that are GMOs, that are uh, non-organic, that are 
a hidden MSG in the form of yeast extract or natural flavors or even have caramel coloring in it, which is considered a carcinogen as well. So um, I would really like to have Subway invite me to their headquarters and talk to them about the ingredients they do plan on using now to create their bread. And let's take a look at them and see if they're going to be really safe. And also, I would expect that they provide a timeline publicly, especially to the over uh, now 65,000 people who have signed the petition, we owe that they owe that timeline to us to know when we uh, are going to be seeing the removal of this chemical. And you know, in in 2007, when um, when uh, Barack Obama stood before the Food Democracy Now crowd and everyone and said that they we all deserve to know what's in our food and that he would fight for labeling of GMOs and then turn around and hire the Secretary of Agriculture to be Tom Vilsack, someone in the back pockets of Monsanto and the Corn Refiners Association. That was a real big slap in the face. And let's just remember why uh, you know who's who's creating these genetically engineered uh, engineered seeds? It's it's all of the big chemical companies. It's Monsanto, Dow, Syngenta, BSAF. They are all in the business of selling chemicals. So if you think that they're going to create a seed that doesn't involve their chemical, the the Agent Orange, the Roundup, all of these different um, uh, toxic, um, life threatening type of chemicals on the on these seeds, you you've got something else coming. Coming because that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to sell more chemicals and they're trying to put more on the land and pollute the earth. And what's really sad is that ever since GMOs have been introduced, over 400 million more pounds of herbicides have been sprayed on our land. And I, and I can't even imagine what is going to happen to Iowa in the future, if it's going to be a toxic wasteland or not. Oh, it's, just, it's, it's in all the tap water all over the place. It's a nightmare. Vani Hari, a lot of times when they take one emulsifier of plastic out, softener i notice they'll just add another one kind of like they'll get rid of aspartame but then put in basically the same thing under another name do, do you expect them to really try to clean their food up because i'd like to be able to eat it subway well i would too you know it'd be so nice to be able to stop there on the road or you know because they're everywhere. it'd be nice to have fast food that wasn't poison yeah because i mean be a lot of times you're on a road trip where is there yeah, and, and, and really, honestly, the only place to eat right now is Chipotle because they are removing GMOs. Folks, we have victory every time we take action together because what the globalists are doing is so outrageous. And used to, they would just go, oh, this plastic's good for you. Now they go, the government said we're allowed to, so you can't sue us, but we're taking it out. And what she's doing and what others are doing is the blueprint of victory. Bonnie Hari, other key points you'd like to relay to people and give us an idea of what's next, because I can't wait to have you on about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what I want everyone to realize is that, you know, there is a lot of power when you make your voice heard, when you share this information with your friends and family, when you tell someone who may not know, uh, maybe you're walking by and someone's about to walk, walk into a subway. What if you were to just take the second and say, hey, did you know there's plastic in their bread? And just open people's eyes, because that's what's really going to change this world. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it, and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.